guys welcome back to my channel now today i'm actually cooking yes i'm cooking i think i've actually neglected my kitchen for a few weeks i'd say um i don't know i just don't have much time to do typical cooking it's just everything's just been so i don't know put it in the microwave put it in the oven just so quick and easy but now i feel that it's time to get stuck in and plus a request from my sister she loves noodles and she had asked me to make her Chinese noodles. So I'm just going to show you today a really quick, easy chicken Chinese noodle. It's super easy and quick. And my mom would often make this. Growing up, is one of her favourite dishes and we all loved this. But she never just made it alone. Like today, I'm only just making um, the noodles. But my mom would always accompany this with um, Chinese style soup, chicken and sweet corn soup. And we used to love that. You know, bring back so many memories. So when she said to me today, oh, make me noodles. And I just get the flashbacks of when we used to fill our bowls with the chicken um, noodles. And we'd have soup as well, either for the starter or whatever. But you know, you couldn't have too much because you had the starter and then you have that as your main meal. It was quite filling, but it was absolutely beautiful so fantastic the flavors and with a nice style of cooking we always like typically we always like um, spices so to add a bit of the heat we'd always have the green chilies or paprika red chili powder to add the flavors and typically in a lot of maybe asian cooking and so forth see there i've said it again my sister always tells me i didn't actually realize that i use the word so forth a lot so yeah i need to stop using that word but it's the fact that we do a lot of spices in our cooking and most other South Asian cuisine may not put as much chilli or spices as we do. But I'm just going to show you my version of this, so let's get going. Okay, so just in my plate here in front of me, I've got one teaspoon of red chilli powder and I've got a teaspoon of black pepper here. You can either have it coarse like I have myself or you could have it ground. Next, I've got one and a half teaspoon of garlic and ginger paste. And next to it, which is actually kind of disintegrate into it, I've got a teaspoon of salt. Now, if any of these quantities are too much, again, you can just reduce it, depends on how much you're cooking. If the spice quantity is too much, again, take one out and put the other, it's perfectly okay. I don't tend to measure, but I'm just gonna put in two tablespoons of olive oil. And to this, super easy and quick. I don't have any onions, so I'm just gonna cheat and just use some packet onions here. And that's just roughly about half near to one. Okay, so in my tub here, I've already um, cleaned and diced one whole breast piece of chicken here. You could use more depending on how many people you're serving. This is this is um, a decent amount for two people, maybe three at the most. Okay, so today, if you can see there, these are the noodles that I'm going to be using. Um, simply from Waitrose, so these are just medium egg noodles. Now, usually, um, when we make noodles, we often buy these ones. And you can pick these up from, and again, they're quite thin as well. Um, you can pick these up from any Chinese supermarket. I don't believe general supermarkets will stock this type. Um, of this brand but yeah try into your local Chinese supermarket okay so I've already boiled my kettle and all I'm going to do is just use boiling water it just saves so much time when it comes to cooking your whether it be pasta or your noodles oh I think it's gone a bit steamy okay okay so the water is coming slightly to the boil so I'm just going to add in the noodles. Okay, so the noodles should be done within about five to six minutes. Let's give that a bit of a stir. Oh, nice. So the onions are slightly caramelised. I'm only using less onions today and I'm adding in my chicken. Let's just give that a stir. Now I'm just going to let this cook for about five minutes or so and then I'm going to be adding in the spices and this shouldn't take long because it's a breast piece of chicken and I've only used one so 
give about 15 20 minutes maximum and everything should be cooked as you can see the color has changed I'm just going to add in the spices Now this bit is optional, if you don't want to add any tomatoes, you don't have to, but I do. And you can either use fresh or tinned tomatoes, which is what I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to drain the um, noodles. Okay, so the chicken's almost done, and all I'm going to be adding in is just some soya sauce. Now you can either use a light one, or just stick to the general dark or whatever you have to hand. So I'll say I've added in about two tablespoons there. If you need some more, by all means do so. But just be careful, the more you add in, it's very salty. So that will just change it up. I'm just going to leave it on for about a few more minutes just to incorporate before I add it to my noodles. give you a closer look of what it looks like there we are so I cooked it for a further five minutes and now I'm going to add it into the noodles so just give that a stir now because I like spicy food for some of you might find the heat just a little bit much so I definitely say just go half with the red um, chili powder and I'm just going to add in a little drizzle more of soy sauce okay so I'm just going to give this a quick try my noodles are all complete let's have a look mmm that's really delicious very nice so guys <clears throat> if you enjoyed my video don't forget to give my video a thumbs up leave a comment